People tell me that I'm crazy, I tell them that's exactly it I've got reasons for my absence People tell me that I'll burn out I tell them I'm not like the rest But if I'm really being honest And you ask me how I'm doing I probably have to tell you that Tell you that, tell you good So it's been five days since I've been putting up with Brian's farts. Stage five, TDU. We've got uh, channel supporter riding behind me. Salvatore. Hey, Good, what are you up to this morning? Uh, not much, just gonna head into Chibo, make some coffees for everyone. Yeah? And I uh, see this legend. No sassy swap off? Nah, not to, maybe next year. <laughs> <laughs> so Brian and I had quite a few beers last night. You can get it riding. You can get it sliding. You can feel it coming on about four. Perfect preparation for Adelaide's fastest and hardest bunch ride, Sassy Swap Off. Marco, are you talking about your nationals? Yeah, yeah it was good, I know. Okay, so what I've got for you here are scenes of this morning's bunch ride in Adelaide, currently where the tour down under is occurring. Today is Saturday, which was stage five, but this bunch right here starts well and truly before the start of stage five. It starts at 7 a.m. this bunch ride at the corner of Military and Grange Road in the suburb of Grange near the beach in Adelaide. Now this bunch ride is called the Sassy Swap Off and Sassy stands for the South Australian Sports Institute. And this ride actually originated many years ago now as a training ride for the Sassy riders. Today, however, it is an open bunch ride, but there are some seriously good riders here. And in the conga line, you can see some ex-professionals and current national road series riders. According to Strava, it's a 47 kilometer swap off festival. And this morning we averaged around 45 kilometers per hour, and I see the best times around this bunchy averages closer to 49 kilometers per hour. So it wasn't overly fast this morning according to Strava, but I can tell you this ride absolutely cooked me. I think it's a combination of being at the Tour Down Under, which means riding lots of Ks over the last few days, and the nature of swapping off for a solid hour. In fact, I really noticed this morning my heart rate's inability to reach close to max, despite the fact I was really hurting at times. And it's amazing what fatigue will actually do to your body when you've been riding the way I've been riding over the last four or five days, but certainly I'll be having a rest after the TDU finishes. Now I've synced data for about 25 minutes here of this one hour bunch ride. So I'll skip forward from time to time so you can get a good feel for things. And on the screen, still no power unfortunately. So we've got speed, heart rate, gradient, which is pretty much flat today and the course for a major part of this ride. You can see we've started this ride along a road called Military Road, and then we enter a loop, which is done roughly two and a half times before you finish the ride off in a strange little industrial area where you sprint to a train line, that's the finish. In fact, from what I understand, it was 
in this industrial area where the bunch once spent most of its time. However, due to road closures, what you see today and what the bunch ride is moving forward is I guess a revised iteration of what the sassy swap off once was. Now, unlike typical fast bunch rides that you typically get, such as Melbourne's famous hill ride, this one really entices you to get involved in the turns. And really the goal for anyone doing this bunch ride, from what I understand, is to turn until you can turn no more. To prove this point, the rider you see in front of me is Lee Turner, a well-known road cyclist from Melbourne that absolutely hates the front. He will openly admit that he never does a turn, but as you will see today, even the sassy swap off has him involved for quite a significant period of time. So well done, Lee. Now some interesting points I'd like to raise about one of the best bunch rides I reckon I've actually ever done. There's no traffic lights, all left-hand turns. Those things combined mean that you're on the pedals for a solid hour, so it's a really good workout. I also noticed some really good rider etiquette and respect for one another. Some of the experienced Adelaide riders were informing some of the tourists what to expect at certain points, so there were no surprises. And when the wind changed, someone would quickly make a call and the bunch would swap in the opposite direction. So overall, I was really impressed with the sassy swap off. It's a great bunch ride. And what I'll leave you with here is some scenes at the end of this bunch ride in the industrial area to wrap up this video.